I feel like this lighting is like super dark and I feel like I look almost evil. I was holding the camera down here earlier, like before I put the tripod on, like sat it down. And I was sitting like this and I was like, I look like a fucking gangster. I can't. So, up we go. In the light. Um, so today we're talking about uh, long-term relationships and marriage versus uh, staying single and not settling down. Um, then the challenge is to talk about food and uh, baking and recipes we want to try. And uh, it's really cool. Anyways, uh, so the long-term relationship thing. Um, I didn't really, uh, I didn't have a girlfriend until I was 17. Uh, and this is, I guess that's not that weird. But I came out when I was 14 or 15. So um, I was kind of, I was putting up the gay thing, as most of us do. Um, and then, of course, I didn't want to come out. And then... Um, I don't know, I just, I didn't want to settle down, like, I didn't want to have to be in a relationship and, like, have to, like, l like live to someone else's expectations of myself, um, and that was kind of always my problem, I didn't want to let anyone down, um, and then I learned that if you live your life thinking that you're going to let people down, then you're going to let people down, um, and you can't live your life up to other people's expectations, you have to live up to your own expectations of yourself, so, uh, I guess when I... S I dated a couple girls and they weren't really right and then um, I feel like when you finally decide to settle down it's for someone, um, well at least for me it was for someone and then I realized that like through what I had with them that like that's what I did want in life, um, not necessarily with them but I did want to have, like I did want to have a wife and I might want to have kids and um, I want to have a future and that kind of thing. Um, Little picket fence. Uh, that's for anyone that likes John Steinbeck, the American Dream. Um, but yeah, like I can't. I didn't really think about that until I was 18 years old. 19 in two and a half weeks. So uh, that's legal in Canada for those of you guys who don't know, or at least in BC where I live. I like the word wife, but I guess like partner for me isn't just like I don't know. It's just partner, like a partner in crime. Like I don't know. Sounds pretty badass to me. The challenge was just to uh, talk about food we like or um, want to bake or anything like that. I live in a fucking like dome, so I haven't baked since I was home last year. I don't put shit into my body unless I'm drunk. So when it comes to baking and stuff like that, I've never really um, had an inclination towards it, other than croissants. And I like my croissants because, eh, uh, hey, it's en français, j'aime les croissants, et hey, um, Mon amour, dans ma corps, c'est les croissants. Okay, I'm. You have to understand that this Nikon, I'm fucking shaking it back and forth and it's staying in focus. Um, I have my Nikon on a tiny little tripod and I'm holding onto it and like balancing it on my knee while sitting in a chair with my legs up. So, uh, this is. I could show you, but that would require me moving. And, uh, this is kind of a circus act on its own right now. Um, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.